Well, new at five, take a close look at the scene inside this red circle. It shows a boy who is dangling from a ride more than 30 feet in the air. Now, this happened at the Cusa Valley Fair in Rome. Fortunately, the boy is okay, but his parents want to make sure that other parents are aware of what happened. Christy Hutchings with News Radio 1067 spoke with the boy and Carnival about this dramatic ordeal. I have spoke with the carnival manager and he tells me the ride the children were on has been shut down. The state has been out today and now they're waiting on the manufacturer to come and try to figure out what happened. It's unexplainable and uncomprehensible to me as a parent, but the way he handled it and the way that it turned out, uh, you couldn't ask for anything better. Looking at the pictures people in the crowd took, Tony Cooper is still amazed everyone walked away unharmed. His son Brayden and his niece Gracie were the last to get on the zipper ride. The two hopped in, hooked their harnesses and closed the gate. Tony and his wife were waiting with their daughter, who was still standing in line, when all of a sudden there's a loud bang and Tony can see one of the cages opening. As soon as I, we saw the door open and we could see Braden's feet come out, immediately I jumped the fence. Um, I don't know what I, I was going to try to catch him. I, I didn't know what else to do. In some of the pictures on Cooper's phone, you can see Brayden dangling in the air. Gracie is still harnessed in, but upside down. But the ride hasn't stopped. When it opened, I told her to stay still because I didn't want it to move. And and then when we landed, I was telling her to stay still and everything was going to be okay. Once the ride came to a stop, Brayden was able to stand on the cage below him until he could get down. I don't know what I was doing. I was just. I just wanted to get down. I was just trying to get Gracie down. For Gracie, she says she couldn't have done it without Brayden. I love him because if he wasn't there, then I don't know what I what I, what I would have done. I'm extremely proud um, that he was able to keep his wits, that he was able to stay calm, and that he had the wherewithal to take a horrible situation and make the best of it. I'm Christy Hutchings, News Radio 106.74, Fox 5 News. Boy, how frightening for that family.